do that and uh and then we access it kind of like a web page however if we if we download this one then we might be able to access it from our desktop although we still need internet connection so this doesn't remove the need for internet connection that's one of the pros and cons with the online softwares is that you have to have the internet you can't work offline typically when you're using an online software even if you download a desktop version that you can basically use on your desktop that's kind of problematic sometimes but on the on the plus side the fact that it's online all the time makes it more accessible to things like applications that you might be able to integrate within the software so in any case if we go into this desktop view it says work the way you want with the quickbooks online app number one sign in and stay connected we'll keep you signed in so you can get to work faster so one benefit might be that if it's not on the website and it's on your desktop then then maybe you can stay signed in for a longer period of time considering you're not going on an actual uh website although again it's still connected to the website uh th through the internet so you still are going to have like a sign-in process at least initially and periodically you would think so find common tasks faster use the map view to get your daily tax uh quickly now this is really neat because it looks like they actually uh heard some people after how many years has it been that they like the map view of the flowchart that I keep on going back to on the desktop version which looks like this this is quite nice even if you're experienced like me I still kind of like looking at the flowchart from time to time it helps me to visualize it that's what I see in my mind when I'm thinking of the process so we'll take a look at that in a second number three work efficiently with multiple tabs flip between multiple tabs and companies with ease again I like that I'll take a look at that process in a second so all you have to do is you download uh if you're on the Windows and then you download here on the Mac so if that if you do that then on your desktop you get an icon that looks like this it looks